Ay, 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 ay. Okay, let's see if we can do this before the battery dies. Ugh. Welcome back to Life Lessons in Film. Uh, today we're going to be making sense of life through Tales of the Jedi, Episode 6. Oh, what, what was it called? Episode 6. Resolve. Uh, it follows Ahsoka right after Revenge of the Sith. So, turns out she was at Padme's funeral, which is fine. I, it didn't bother me. I thought it was kind of cool, actually. Again, another tie-in. Show is all about tie-ins, and I'm down for the tie-ins. It was cool to just see that sh scene from Revenge of the Sith, which I love. I knew that made it for him. It's very cool. Yeah, it follows Ahsoka as she's now on the run from the newly minted Empire. She's hiding on that boo. She meets up with Bill Organa, who's like, I got this new business venture. <laughs> got this new idea for, uh, for Rebellion. I think you'd be a great fit for it. And uh, so he's like, yeah, let me think about it. I don't know. Can I work remotely? He's like, oh, you're going to have to come into the office now. And she's just like, no, I'm not into that. And then Ahsoka's just hiding away somewhere, you know, in a uh, off-world planet. Well, that's not really an off- Can, you, can all, planets be off-world? Does that make sense? That sentence seems to make sense to me, off-world planet. But really, that makes no sense, does it? Outer room planet. Away from the gazing eyes of the Empire. She's on like a farming situation, farming collective, stacking bales of hay. You know, hey, he's worth something somewhere, I suppose. Trying to keep a low profile. But some, of the, some of the other people she's working with are starting to pick up on. Maybe she's hiding something. She ends up using the Force to save one of the people from getting crushed by hay. One of the other people working there notices and totally rats her out. What a friggin' face head. What a friggin' um, Munchhausen. <laughs> What a friggin' munchhead, you know? So anyway, he rats her out, and then an Inquisitor comes looking for her. Burns everything down, kills everybody. Ahsoka's like, hey, stop it. And then that's kind of it. Then she's like, okay, all right, yeah, I guess I'll see if Bale's still hiring. So overall, I liked it. I liked seeing Cartoon Padme again. It was cool. Or animated Padme. I liked the new Inquisitor. He was definitely... I don't really care too much for the Inquisitors, but I will agree that uh, this one looked pretty menacing. How Ahsoka takes out the Inquisitor was creative and cool. I dug that. I think they had another one of those astromechs that had the long legs and was lifting stuff up. I enjoyed that that was like a recurring thing. I'm pretty sure it's in there, right? I'm gonna leave this in if it is in there. Apparently it kind of takes a lot from the Ahsoka novel, which I haven't read, so it upset some people because they kind of deviated from the novel. It didn't really upset me because I didn't know it deviated until I found out later watching YouTube videos. Although it does make me think of kind of the issue that some people have when it comes to the whole thing of making things canon and not canon with Star Wars. Because Disney, when it bought Lucasfilm, it made everything on canon, non-canon basically, apart from like the movies and the show. And people were upset by that. Now, I, it annoyed me a little, although it wasn't a super big thing because again, like you kind of decide what is canon personally. Everyone has a different canon, you know? But yeah, I can see, so some people were upset because it's like, well, if you're making all this stuff non-canon and then you put out new stuff, and you want us to get it because it's canon, so it's worth more, you know? It's more special. And then you just kind of go and contradict your canon things later on, then what's the point of saying stuff is canon versus not canon? So I understand on one hand the frustration of the arbitrariness contradictions in what is canon and the canon things not lining up. Ideally, it would be nice if all the canon stuff could stay in this non-contradictory timeline. But realistically, to be fair, it would be really tough to keep up with even the most devout Star Wars fans that are working on these projects. You can't keep up with everything. All the stuff that's going on at the same time that you're working on stuff. And you know, sometimes also maybe you gotta change a couple things. If you're doing like a show live action or animated show versus a uh, comic book, it just works better or different if you do some things differently. I think it didn't bother me much in this case because I hadn't read the novel. If it, there was a piece of canon that I felt very attached to and I loved exactly how it looked, how it played out story-wise, and then they changed it quite a bit. Yeah, I probably would be upset. So I guess it's it's subjective uh, in that way where it's like if it's something that you personally really enjoyed from the Star Wars universe, from the lore, and then they changed it in a big way, that would be upsetting. But then at the same time, I guess that's why books are also seen as secondary canon, because not as many people buy them or read them as people watch the shows and movies. So maybe they think that it's a little easier to tweak stuff that way. Where I stand is I understand why some people have issues, but I also understand why sometimes the creators do decide to alter things later on. Just because it, it makes their current story make a little more sense or it's it, it works better. It's a hard choice. I'm sure they were aware that they are going to be annoying some people by changing things from the Ahsoka book, but sometimes you gotta make hard choices. They made that hard choice. You gotta go with the hard choices that people make in life. And uh, honestly, I hope, I really hope we get more of this. I hope we get a eight seasons of Tales of the Jedi. I'd love to see more, more stuff in that vein of anthology tie-in episodes through all kinds of different 
parts of the, uh, the Star Wars timeline about that. So but anyway, I thought that was uh, some of my thoughts on uh, Tales of the Jedi Episode 6 Resolve. But what did you guys think? Let me know. Leave a comment. Uh, share your thoughts on my thoughts. Till next time. Thanks for watching. That's a wrap.